Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at programming your Spike Essential as used in the first LEGO League Explore Division. For this, we're going to use the Spike Essential app. So let's take a look. Here we are on the Spike Essential homepage. To create a new project, I'm going to click on New Project. But when I do that, I get the choice between two different styles. Firstly, I can choose Icon Blocks. Let's take a look at what that looks like. In here, you'll notice that all of the functions of the Spike Essential are represented by blocks with icons on. For example, this one will rotate a medium motor by one rotation. This one will turn all the lights on the LED matrix on. This one would play an appropriate sound and so on across all of the different options. If I want to move up a level, I can instead choose to use word blocks. Now you'll notice that this looks very similar to Scratch. And indeed, this is built upon Scratch. On the left hand side here, you have the block palette. So you have a series of toolboxes grouping the blocks by feature. And inside each of those toolboxes, you have a selection of different blocks. Blue covering all commands relevant to motors. Purple commands relevant to movement and so on. If you want to add additional blocks, you'll notice you have this icon at the bottom. By clicking on that, you can bring in block extensions to further increase the range of blocks available to you to carry out specific tasks, such as gathering weather information from the internet, additional commands for motors, or additional commands for using your Spike Essential with additional sensors. To build your program, it's as simple as grabbing the block you require, dragging it across, and placing it onto the bottom of the relevant programming stack. Now you don't just have to have one stack running at a time. If you go to the events toolbox, you'll notice there are a series of different stack headers. What I mean by that is here you can see that this says when tilted. This means that this stack will start running. Any commands you place in here will start running when you tilt the Spike Essential in the relevant direction. And you can make these as big as you want within reason. Once you've built your program, you will need to click on connect and connect your Spike Essential. This is covered in another video. Then you can play your program and have your Spike Essential respond to the program that you have written. If you wish to save your program, you can go up to file and save your program for later use. However, You'll notice if I return back to my home page, that program is automatically saved within the Spike app itself. 